video, we will discuss skew and kurtosis. We will first define each topic, then give examples of where in the capital markets these concepts are relevant, and then discuss how these statistics are managed. Skew. When examining the probability distributions, the tails associated with a data series is called the skew. The skew is a measure of the asymmetry of a probability distribution, how a distribution is not normal. The skew value can be positive or negative. A negative skew indicates that the tails on the left side of a probability density function is longer than the right side, and the bulk of the data points are to the right of the mean. A positive skew indicates that the tail on the right side is longer than the left side, and the bulk of the values lie to the left of the mean. In the diagrams that I created, this would be a negative skew where there are more data points to the left side and the bulk of the data is to the mean of the right. And the reverse is for a positive skew where there are fatter tails on the right side but the bulk of the data is toward the mean. A negative value indicates that the values are relatively evenly distributed on both sides of the mean, typically, but not necessarily, implying a symmetrical distribution. Kurtosis is the concept that observations are spread in a wider range than the normal distribution entails. Fewer observations cluster near the average, and more observations populate the extremes either far above or far below the average compared to the bell shape of the normal distribution. Kurtosis is a measure of the shape of the probability distribution. It is closely related to the mean variance. Kurtosis measures both the peak of the distribution and the depth of the tails. From a practical standpoint, it is probably most useful to think of kurtosis as specifically measuring the heaviness of the tails to the extent to which the distribution of the variable falls off relatively slowly near the extremes at the end where the tails are. Kurtosis risk applies to any kurtosis related quantitative model that relies on normal distribution for certain of independent variables especially when it veers substantially from the normal distribution. Kurtosis is commonly referred to, if to as fat tails. A fat tail metaphor explicitly describes the situation of having more distributions at either extreme than the tails of the distribution would suggest. Therefore, the tails are fatter. Ignoring kurtosis can be a detriment, as it will occur and destroy the assumptions of a model. For instance, the long-term capital management, which is a famous situation in which Myron Scholes um, ignored kurtosis when creating a liquidity issue for the Federal Reserve and major banks in 1998 when the hedge fund blew up and needed the Federal Reserve to come in and rescue the hedge fund. When a hedge fund fails to realize that the markets can remain irrational longer than the hedge fund can remain solvent, a situation to long-term capital can occur. We will now discuss implied skew. In the world of options, the term skew is applied to the premium that is paid for out-of-the-money options. For example, the implied volatility of an at-the-money option might have a lower value than 
the out of the money options if investors are looking to hedge downside risk during an adverse situation. As seen in the picture, as the strike price here moves lower, implied volatility is generally higher. And as you move toward the at the money volatility, the implied volatility moves lower and in many cases will continue to move higher if there is a skew on both sides of the distribution. An example of a position that would create skew risk is a put spread. Let's assume that a current term structure of volatility on an S&P 500 ETF SPY is 15% and 18% for a 10% out of the money put. When a put option buyer purchases an at the money put and sells an out of the money put, they are generally looking for the market to move lower. If the implied volatility is higher on the out of the money put, they will benefit if the skew contracts. That means the skew moving closer together. If the implied volatility moved to a spread of 2% from the current 3%, the investor would earn money with all factors remaining unchanged. If, on the other hand, the skew increased, it would become more expensive for investors to exit the position with all other factors remaining equal. In general, when markets move to a point where there is lower volatility, but there is fear that a market could continue to move lower, the skew on the market, where the protection for downside puts still remains much more expensive than at the money puts. The CBOT has a skew rating, which is available on their website. When examining the stocks or commodities, investors will find that implied volatility skew will change from stock to stock based on the supply and the demand for the stock. Generally, investors will find that an out-of-the-money call has a negative skew, while out-of-the-money puts have positive skew. The concept of skew and kurtosis is the key to understanding of model creation probability and option structure. These concepts should be analyzed carefully by investors looking to invest in options and derivative products. Thank you.